In the earlier session, we have seen the protection against over voltage by using your expulsion type arrestor. Here the disadvantage was that whenever I am going to use the expulsion type arrestor, the gas is going to be discharged at a higher rate. So, you can use it only for a limited number of operations as well as if you could see whenever I am going to use that arrestor, what is the main disadvantage? Since it is going to be gas is going to be released, I cannot use it at the enclosed equipment for protection and moreover it was used for the low voltage application still 33 kV. Now we will move on to the valve type arrestor which is used for high voltages mainly it gives protection for the transformers and the cables and here the time of operation is also very less that is it is going to be less than 1 second and the impulse ratio that is it is going to be the ra ratio of the breakdown during the power frequency and after your surge gets over. So this value is also unity it lies in the range of unity right. Now moving on to the circuitry, if you are going to take consider this, so you are going to have the non-linear resistors, this non-linear resistors are going to be in series with your spark gaps and the whole thing it is going to be enclosed in a porcelain housing, okay. So here you are going to see the spark gap is going to be in series with the non-linear resistor. Here this spark gap, several spark gaps are going to be arranged and they are going to be set at varying gaps between your two ends of your spark gap, okay, such that under normal voltages, the voltage will not be sufficient enough to cause a breaking of the uh, air gap, okay, and uh, it will not spark over, whereas only during the over voltage condition due to the high voltage, it sparks over and it discharges the high currents to the ground, okay. Now, as I told you, this valve type arrestor, it is going to be consisting of your spark gap, okay, as well as it is going to have the grading resistor. This is the new concept what we are seeing. So, this grading resistor is nothing but it is used for the linearization of the voltage, okay. So, that is the advantage of using your grading resistor. So, this spark gap, series of spark gap is going to be in series with your non-linear resistor. What is the function of non-linear resistor? Under normal, that is non-linear resistor function is that it is going to offer a very high reactance under normal voltage. So, under normal voltage when it offers a very high reactance, so this will not create the spark over of the gap. Whereas, under over voltage condition, this will act as a low resistance path so that the high voltage or the high surge currents gets drained to the ground. Okay. So, this operates only during your over voltage where it offers a low resistance thereby draining all the high surges to the ground. So, this valve type arrestor, it is going to be made of the material called as thyrite or metrosol. Here, the main advantage is that you are going to use a spark gap. Okay. So, the distance is going to be adjusted in such a way that under normal voltage, it is not going to create the sparking of the gap and also you are going to have additional provision of using the grading resistors for linearizing the voltage level. And the non-linear resistor made of thermo, uh, thyrite or metrosol, so to provide the low resistance during your over voltage. Now, what will happen? Under normal condition, the gap will be non-conducting because the sufficient energy is not there to cause a breakdown of the gap. So, whenever a fault occurs or a over voltage occurs in that case, this high voltage is going to cause a spark over of the gap and as a result, this resistor is going to offer a low resistance using during your over voltage conditions and it drains the high surges to the ground. Okay, and here if you could see the main, one of the main uh, disadvantage in this is of course you have the advantage of using at very less than 1 second which is a desirable factor and of course the impulse ratio is also unity, okay. But wherein whenever I am going to check the disadvantage, it cannot be used for very steep fronted waveforms, okay. And the next thing is it should be always in a very tight enclosed uh, surface. Okay, or enclosure should be very tight because you are going to use a spark over any moisture content should not disturb the performance of the arrestor. 
Okay, so this moisture and it cannot be used for detecting the very steep waveform is one of the disadvantage. Otherwise, it is effectively used for the high voltage. In case of the power station, it is used for up to 220 kV and in case of the substation for protecting against the substation handling 66 kV, this could be used. Okay, so here whenever we are going to talk about your valve resistor, you should know about the thyroid or the metrosil and the spark gap in series with your nonlinear resistor to perform the operation. Okay, so now if you are going to see with this the different types of surge arresters we have seen, but the next concept is your surge observer. Okay, both the things they are going to do the same function. When I take it as a lightning arrestor, it is going to divert the surge energy to the ground, whereas the surge absorber, it is going to absorb the energy. That is, in case of the very steep fronted waveform, you cannot use the lightning arrestor, wherein you will use a surge absorber to drain the currents to the ground. So, this you could facilitate just by adding a capacitor between the line and the earth or with the series with the line to be protected you can have a choke and a resistor. So, this choke will not allow the high transients to pass to the apparatus or you can also go in for a, a, a range of uh, surge observer such as a Ferranti observer which is going to do the same function. So, surge arrestor diverts the surge energy to the ground whereas, a surge observer, so it just absorbs the surge energy to the ground which can be facilitated by using a capacitor or a inductor. Thank you.